Hello everybody, um, my name is Angel Andres Rosario Rivera and this is a video on the harmful effects of cell phones in our society. Um, so yeah, let, let's, just, uh, let's just get into it. So, it's no wonder that cell phones are practically everywhere around the world. Um, people watching their social medias um may have a phone like you for example may have a phone the person next to you may have a phone the crazy neighbor may have a phone um the neighborhood crazy person may have a phone even somebody's grandmother may have a phone um in short millions and millions and millions of people have phones um Never mind the fact that people are addicted to their phones, um, saying that they can't go off, go off their devices. Um, thus, pe uh, people get upset or angry, and the person taking the phone end up throwing the phone into a lake, or just simply confiscating it from the addicted person. Um, with technology, people need to be careful. Otherwise, they can get fooled into doing something just that's just just that's just straight up wrong. Um, firstly, um, we ha I have four four effects here. Um, the first effect into somebody for thanks to phones is addiction. Now, people who are addicted to phones don't socialize with other people in the real world. Uh, hence, it leads to anxiety um, in a person, not socializing with other human beings, in the physical planet we call Earth, you know, that whole sphere thing that we're stepping on right now, unless you're an astronaut, uh, an astronaut on the ISS or on the moon, I don't know. But yeah, um, it is also majorly like a waste of time, uh, spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just scrolling TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and more other social media on their phones, and they end up turning, turning their back into one of a goblin. Um, people normally are addicted to phones. And when they do, they start ignoring their family members, which can lead to horrible confrontations between them, accusations being thrown around, and you know, all of that. Um, like for some, like for someone to like improve their mental health, um spending more like some time away from a phone and just simply go outside with your family and and other people your friends can have a positive result on somebody's mental and physical health so yeah secondly the second effect is your personal and or and or private information could be interfered or st stolen by a hacker with malicious intent uh if not with malicious intent uh, with the intent of cyber cyberbullying stalking the person or even uh spreading misinformation around the world about somebody in in a social media platform um people can and with this people can get um deceived full uh, about somebody and start hating them right and start hating them for something that they didn't even do or or doing something good but or doing something good but they but they see it in a bad in a bad light in a negative way and with the and as a result um, protests, attempted coups, wars, or even revolutions could spark within just minutes of falsification by done by someone.
um, it is very important that people realize that they need to be cautious in various social media platforms just, just to simply avoid problems. Now, the third effect that we have here is insecurities, personal insecurities. Now, this type of problem can be made by other people like posting or uploading to the internet photos of themselves which could be edited to have unrealistic beauty standards um people in turn develop like self-esteem um develop poor self-esteem um constantly trying a higher level of reaching a higher level of beauty Therefore, like more insecurities spread among those who see their fake pictures. Um, hence, our society is trying to like outdo each other due to lack of confidence, um, due, uh, co lack of confidence, low morale, and in turn, they start to turn their backs away from who they really are. Like somebody could be a a good person but then they start seeing this seeing this like pictures of somebody else and their personality like changes into trying to copy that other person's life which is just not which is not uh not a good thing to do um this can this can like to this day people will have like rocky weak and unstable personalities um thanks to insecurities made by other people um intentionally or by accidents finally our fourth effect is simply spending too much time on a phone can have a sedentary life now you may be asking what the heck is a sedentary life well this type of life means having like a lack of physical activity spending too much time with your face stuck to a screen for hours not being able to get sleep by the way for those who are getting five or less hours of sleep you are ha you are depriving yourself from sleep why because it's at least eight hours to of sleep is recommended to everybody. Eight hours of sleep recommended. Why? Because then you don't wake up tired. You don't wake up in a in a bad mood. Um, you don't fall asleep. For example, during class, during work, during doing doing basic other human things. You know. So, ba like. People, like people, like people, like uh, past research shows that a higher amount of cell phone use relates to a lack of physical activity, fitness, a bad, poor mental health, obesity, obesity, lack of socializing in the real world, and uh, etc. Having a bad and constant sedentary life has very extreme consequences which could be minor could be nothing or could be fatal like it it could lead to having medical problems have diseases or have a higher chance of somebody passing away of heart disease my solution is you can in to avoid a sedentary life People need to go out more, do more exercise, um, eat healthy food, and not being stuck to a screen for hours. Now, uh, now, you can have, you can use your phone while doing exercise and eating, but that doesn't mean that you're just like you're just not going to stick to a phone and eat healthy food all day long because. Apart from eating healthy food, you have to find a balance on how much you eat every single day. 
otherwise you just turn into you just turn into an obese person simple as that now although cell phones can give and present good advice and information communication as well being a convenience to people the negatives far way overshadow and surpass the positives leaving them behind um depression back pain addiction and other negatives is a serious problem in this day and age people need to spend more time out outside touching grass away from their devices be with their loved ones or do other activities that doesn't resolve around cell phones people need to put down their phones for once in their lives now if you enjoyed the video here's two things that i want you to do first if you agree with me do what these people in the in the screen are doing taking their phone and throwing it away or simply not that's your decision i'm, I'm not forcing you now if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel like i appreciate every one of you and hit that red button or or else i'll take your phone and computer and throw it into the next galaxy ne uh, nearest to ours thank you i hope you have a good day peace